Welcome everyone to this live streaming. So today we are going to talk about uh, reflections in Corel Draw. So we are going to create um, a few reflection effects in Corel Draw of vectors or bitmaps. So I'm just going to show you the outcome of the uh, of our of of our projects here. So this is the first one that we're going to do, and then the second would be this one. The third one would be this, this photo, and then of course some text reflections like that, and a ripple effect here. And we also going to, I'm gonna add this one because it's like uh, it's still a reflection. So it's just like, how do you create a you know, or how do you put an effect in a photograph which looks like there's a glass here and uh, an image is reflecting. So we're gonna talk about that last. So, so the um, so before we start, I'm just going to show you, or I'm gonna recreate this uh, this this ball first, this glossy ball. So in order to create this one, you just have to click on your ellipse tool and then hold down Control to create a perfect circle. And then so what we're gonna do here, we're going to use the blend tool to make it glossy so i'm going to make this red which is this red okay remove the outline here and then i'm going to click on this one and then plus sign my keyboard again and then while holding shift you you move it so while holding shift and then you just create another i mean you're, you're resizing the the other circle that we duplicated and then we're going to <clears throat> uh, we're going to fill that with this color. So I just went to my eyedropper and then pick a color here, and then I'm going to click on that to fill that. And then I'm going to drag this down like that. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, select both, and then we're going to go to effects and then blend. And then we're going to do a 20 step blend. And then we'll just click on apply here. So you notice it, <clears throat> the two colors blended, right? And then the, <clears throat> sorry. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to create an ellipse and then color it white. Remove the outline, right mouse click on this. And then we'll just put it somewhere there. And then go to your transparency tool and then just click and drag. So that's how you create a glossy ball. Okay. So, so now what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna extend this one here. So, so I'm going to 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 copy this one or plus sign your keyboard. And then I'm going to flip this. Okay, holding the uh, oops, sorry, holding the control button. Sorry about that. One sec. So maybe what we'll do, we're just gonna group this first. So I'm going to uh, select all, and then I'm going to group it or control G to group. And then I'm going to flip this. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna go plus sign my keyboard first to duplicate. And then see this one, I'm gonna flip this over like this. While I'm doing that, you hold down your control, hold down your control key so that it will just flip it vertically. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we are going to make this as a as a bitmap. So you go to your bitmap, convert to bitmap. And since it's, since it's only a reflection, we'll just 100 DPI is fine. We don't need the high resolution. But the most important thing is the transparent background. And then click OK. So right now, this is not vector anymore. It's a, it's a bitmap. So then we are going to click on your transparency tool. And then you are going to click and drag. Sorry, go like this. Click and drag. And then you could just like adjust the transparency so that it would look like it's a reflection. Okay, 
So that is reflection number one. Uh, it's, uh, it's really easy if you know the concept of it. Okay, so the next one here is this. I have a transparent PNG, which is this one here. That's my tra transparent PNG. Uh, what I'm going to do is, again, plus sign my keyboard. And I'm going to grab this one and then bring it down. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to hold down my control key. So that would just flip uh, vertically, right? And then again, we're just going to go to transparency and then click and drag. And then you just have to drag this up and this one and the slider. And then it's it's up to you how you adjust your uh, reflection. And then you just have to move this up with your arrow key going up until you touch that okay that's so that's reflection number two so now here reflection number three so um the uh, the original photos control z the original photograph is just this one here and then i wanted to put like um you know like a, a pond or a body of water here but the reflection is a ripple effect so that's really easy to do so i'm gonna plus sign my keyboard okay and then I'm going to hold this one click on this one and bring it down and then hold down your control to flip it vertically so and then I'm just going to move this up and then see this one so basically this was cut right this was cut there so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to go to my shape tool and I'm going to select these two nodes and then I'm just going to bring this down uh, say somewhere there okay and then I'm going to bring this up like like this okay so now this one will be our reflection so I can I can actually I can I can shrink that or I can squeeze that so so the only thing I did here is I did a ripple effect so if I go to if you go to effects and then click on blur um, uh, sorry I didn't go to blur I, I went to distort sorry I went to distort and I went to ripple so when you click on ripple you have this you're gonna have this one as a default right but that's because it's 90 degrees angle so if you make that zero uh, and then this one you'll shrink this say the um, the effect here don't make it too much say like this and then say you click on distort ripple ripple so just play around with this one I think five is too much so probably just two or maybe one here and then I click OK okay and so yeah so that's uh, that's how you do now you can also uh, create uh, put a Gaussian blur so just to make it realistic and you can just add a little bit of blur if you want but I think it's not necessary and uh, sure what happened here I'm gonna hit control Z oh I think because we added the blur so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it again so I'm gonna go to crop because I think the cropping was removed so anyway so crop like that and then I bring this up and then I went to effects um, distort ripple and then it and now I'm just gonna click OK and then move this up a bit okay so now let's go to this one here so this are the the text so that's that's actually very simple if you know if you just know the concept of the 
of the reflection effect. So plus sign your keyboard and then click here and bring it down and then hold on your control while doing that. So what it would uh, do a vertical flip and then go to your transparency tool and then just click and drag and then you can just adjust it like that very simple and then your arrow key to to adjust the spacing okay and then what I did here it's the same effect same effect as the um, the the photo so it was just like a ripple effect so click on effect distort and then ripple and then I, I set the same the same setting and it becomes like that okay so now the uh, the next one is this one so this is a very easy easy reflection effect in Corel Draw. so what I did you put this one so this one will be the image that's going to be reflected on the glass probably or a window right so you make this align to this one so I'm just going to bring this uh, here snap to that edge and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this this image and then I'm just going to go to my transparency tool and then I'll go to here uniform transparency so this one is yeah so that's just the transparency but we have to add the setting um, screen screen is the setting here and if you notice uh, it's already blending to the object now it's it's up to you if you want that kind of effect or if you want you can also adjust the uh, the uh, the transparency over here so that's really up to you but yeah so that is how do you do the reflection maybe I'm just gonna make it a little bit less transparent okay so so this is a very simple simple effects in Corel draw that you can just do it within a minute or so and uh, I hope you like my uh, tutorial uh, and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and for the people who's watching me every day I really um, I really appreciate what you're doing because the people who are watching me gives me inspiration every day to do to do live stream so if you please comment if you if you have any question with this effect or if you have a request for a tutorial please Put it down in the comment and who knows that would be my next tutorial so so uh, so i'm gonna see you tomorrow and uh, bye for now